welcome back to the channel. Mom and I are here with another Am I the Antagonist post, so let's hop right in. Am I the Antagonist for blowing up on my boyfriend for giving me a birthday card that ChatGPT wrote? <laughs> oh goodness. It's my 35th birthday. Last year I got upset with my 24 year, no. <laughs> 34 year old male boyfriend because he didn't get me a card. This year we discussed doing the birthday right and planning a trip, getting a nice gift, and a card. It was on me to book the trip, but by the time I went to book it, everything was sold out. Hmm. Was she trying to just book it from like one particular place? What do you mean everything was sold out? <laughs> there are no trips available. <laughs> okay. Which was a bummer and had me pretty upset all week. So ultimately, we decided to do a one night stay in the Florida Keys. <laughs> Welcome, welcome. I mean, I'm not in the keys, but <laughs> welcome to Florida. The night before we were going, I asked him not to forget about the card. I also requested he put some thought into a message <laughs> instead of just signing his name. Mm. This morning, when we were supposed to be heading out, he said, I'll be back in a bit. I have to go on your birthday mission to Ooh. get the card and flowers. Man, just leave. Yeah. Just, just go get it. <laughs> I'm going on a birthday mission. Mm -hmm. It's so weird. I was annoyed because I wanted to be on, on the road and mm. figured he should have taken care of this sooner. I was hysterical crying when he left and when mm. he got back, he noticed I was upset. Hmm. That escalated quickly. He brought back ugly flowers. Aww. And a smoothie that I like and a card. I opened the card and it really read like ChatGPT wrote it. I was so upset. I asked him about it and he owned up to it. Mm. <laughs> we got into a huge fight. Him saying that he thought I wanted a longer note and he isn't used to writing long letters and it was still heartfelt. The fight just went from bad to worse as I tried to explain that it's hurtful that he couldn't take five minutes to develop something on his own. He hacked my card. We didn't end up going to the Keys. Oh no! <laughs> I begged and begged to still go, but he refused, saying I pushed him to his breaking uh. point and he didn't want to be in the car with me. We spent the afternoon separated and came back for dinner, which was awkward and not fun. Am I the antagonist for getting so mad at him for this? Wow. I she knows her boyfriend. I think she had unrealistic expectations from the start. And she thought she could push him and get him to do something that he clearly wasn't able to do. But it's not too late. You're only dating him. You haven't tied the knot. You can get out white. <laughs> but you still have a chance. <laughs> so my initial thoughts were that this might not be a big deal because it's just a card. So like as long as she can explain to him, okay, this is how I want to be acknowledged on my birthday. And then he can do it. Um, but it does seem like at the point where she was hysterical that he was doing it at the last minute, it does seem like this might not be a good match <laughs> um, because like if she's getting that upset yeah. about it yeah. um, and she's getting seriously, she's feeling hurt mm -hmm. about it because he's not putting in proper thought and effort in mm -hmm. her opinion. So there's probably a woman out there that wouldn't care <laughs> about it as long as they took the trip together or something, yeah. but this woman does care. So... Yeah, and this this might be the straw that broke the camel's back thing. So he may treat her like this all the time, inconsiderate. You know. And she booked the trip. Now she paid for a trip. It's probably too late to get her money back. So he not only didn't show consideration in the gift with bringing back the ugly flowers and chat GT. Yeah. <laughs> you know that. Chat GPT. Yes. <laughs> uh, part. But then to get her, like, now she's stuck paying for a trip that is probably too late to cancel. Like, where does the inconsideration end? Well, yeah, after she moves on. Yeah, and I would like to know if he just doesn't value holidays in general or when his birthday rolls around, ah. does he expect to receive, you know, 
gifts and a card or something like that Mm -hmm. because it seems like the previous year he didn't do a thing for her Mm -hmm. she's like he didn't even get me a card and this (laughs) year we're doing it right so it seems like the previous year he didn't do a thing for her but if i had to guess since it is valuable to her she probably still does it for him and that has to be hurtful for it to feel so one-sided so i think in this case i don't think she's the antagonist Um, no i don't think she's the antagonist i think she just has unrealistic expectations Okay, or yeah, of this of person. This, yeah, for yeah. this person. <laughs> no, not in general in life. But you should yeah. not expect to get a card <laughs> on your birthday. No, like. from this person. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I definitely agree with you on that. So guys, if you enjoy this series, make sure you give us a like and subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs>